Hey everyone, it's Will. This is my new thing, Walk and Talk with Will. You're probably like, Will, why don't you just enjoy the beautiful scenery? Why do you need to be on the phone, multitasking, always selling and promoing? I don't know. I just thought it'd be fun to share this with you. This whole realization that if you're a composer out there, if you are a songwriter, Melody is king. If you want your music to last, if you want your life legacy to carry on, you need to write a beautiful melody. And it is so simple. The simplest things, the simplest creations can be so powerful and impactful. Let me give you an example. I was listening to the New World Symphony by Dvorak. Do you know this? That the Czech composer Dvorak was invited to help with the National Conservatory in New York in 1893. He came over to America and <clears throat> he wrote a symphony about America using very influenced, not using themes, I'm sure he's very influenced by Negro spirituals and what else? Native American music. He wrote this melody that goes like this. La da da, da da da, la da 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 da, da 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 da, ba da 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 da, la da 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 da. Here I'm walking in the neighborhood. La da 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 da. Does anybody know that melody? So that melody was written in 1893. It's the Largo to the New World Symphony. And he came up with that melody. It was not a spiritual. He wrote that in sort of homage to the spirituals he was hearing. His assistant was an African-American singer who would sing African-American spirituals to him. And he said, yes, he said, to American composers, you need to use these American themes, the Native American music, you need to use the Negro spirituals as inspiration. This needs to be the new American music wellspring that the composers need to draw from. So that little melody is so simple. It's diatonic. There's no chromatic tones in it. The entire melody is so simple. If you look at Beethoven's melodies, they are so simple. But what's important is it has survived. That, that symphony, the New World Symphony, is one of the most celebrated symphonies. It's beautiful. Uh, think of any great composer, even, even Stravinsky. Really simple themes. Simple, simple. Simplicity, folks. So one of the things that I've been doing is taking on the challenge of writing simple melodies for the last two months. And I'm really excited about it. I'm really thrilled to rise to the challenge and come up with a diatonic melody that tells a story that seems beautiful, that seems timeless. It's a fun